So we have indiscriminate rocket fire raining down on Israel again as we speak, not just from Hezbollah in Lebanon, but also from Iraq. Um, Iranian regime backed groups in Iraq are firing drones and other missiles into Israel, at least six in the last 24 hours, including one about an hour ago. Um, Israel does not seek war. All Israel seeks is for Hezbollah to stop the daily attacks on its civilians that started on October 8th, one day after Hamas invaded Israel um, from the south. And yet there is huge frustration in Israel at the way the Western world, or at least many in the Western world, are viewing this. So, for example, this morning, the New York Times called this tit for tat violence. The Wall Street Journal refers to Hezbollah as a militant group even though it's a designated terrorist group, it is committing acts of terror, the very definition of terror, by raining down missiles on civilians. Um, it is not a tit for tat thing like the New York Times suggests. This isn't some seven year old squabbling in the school playground. Um, these are thousands of rockets since October 8th. They are not just targeting Jews. They targeted, for example, the Israeli Arab city of Nazareth yesterday. Now, Nazareth is also, of course, a holy city for Christians. And yet, where is the church in condemning his border in this? Not only human beings, they killed a lot of farm animals yesterday. Many, many cows and farms were killed by Hezbollah rockets, not by projectiles, as the uh, Wall Street Journal called them. A teenage boy was also killed yesterday. And yet it is Israel that is uh, being condemned by the members of the United Nations and so-called human rights groups and some major media like the BBC. In fact, what Israel does is the exact opposite of indiscriminate um, strikes. It is very, very targeted. Um, and whoever did that pager attack last week, whether Israel or someone else, because Israel hasn't actually admitted responsibility, you cannot get more targeted than only targeting Hezbollah senior members with Hezbollah designated pagers and walkie-talkies. Um, and yet, even uh, President Macron of France has condemned Israel um, for these acts, even though Israel targeted Ibrahim Akil, the deputy head of Hezbollah, and um, Akil not only murdered more than, or helped murder more than 200 Americans in the 1980s, he killed 58 French Marines in Beirut in 1983. And yet, instead of Macron and others saying, good riddance, justice has been served, they're condemning Israel. So, of course, in many ways, there is no real Hezbollah. What there is, is Iran, uh, rather the Islamic regime in Iran. And until Western powers and Western media recognize that it is the Islamic regime in Iran that stands behind uh, Hezbollah, behind the Houthis in Yemen, to a certain extent behind Hamas, um, it's not only Israel that will suffer, but Lebanon, for example. Lebanon was a thriving country in the past, and yet how can it ever be thriving again when it has a state within a state that answers to the Islamic regime in Iran, Hezbollah? Um, so anybody that wants peace in Lebanon or Israel or for the Palestinians or for Yemen or for Iraq, and most of all for the long-suffering population of Iran, wants uh, the West to point fingers where they should be pointed, which is at the regime, the Islamic regime in Tehran, instead of at Israel and other Western, Western powers trying to defend themselves.